Hey guys, it's Carrie Bauer here from the WGLU team, Team Go Hard. And today I'm going to show you what to do when left alone against multiple opponents. Here I'm playing aggressively in a hold down position with my crown bank, and I'm punishing the VK for his really weak frontal turret armor. This works well as I have great frontal turret armor, and also my teammates will support me when I need to reload. And this allows me to get 3.2k damage in the early game with only two clips fired. So the score is now 10-12 and it's a lot later in the game. So I relocate to defend the base. And I can find one of the many hold down locations with the flexibility of my minus 12 degrees of gunner push. I shoot the Fosh for the easy reset. But I get shot from the middle. So I relocate again and go more to the northeast. I hold my shells because I don't have time to reload. And I just continue to punish these guys in the cap. So now I have another clip and the bat jet's about to yolo me. So I try and focus him down because, especially in the late game, this old loader is really dangerous. And I make him a one shot, and then I focus back up on the cap. The cap time is getting really high, so I just have to peek, and as you can see, the good turret armor allows me to bounce that first shot. After I've reset, I focus on the patch up because he's the dangerous guy in the late game. But unfortunately, I low roll him massively. And I only roll 353 with an average 400 shell. I only have one shot, so now I need to run away. Here I'm just trying to buy time by using the ridge line so I can reload and then I can kill this Fosh. And a nice little juke here allows me to pick him up without taking any damage. But the Bat Jets yellow me from behind, so I need to kill this guy really quickly, just before the mouse gets in. As the Bat Jets really low HP, I can just put one shot in. It's really nice that he overextends there. With the two remaining shells, I can just put them into the mouse turret, as my turret is a lot stronger than his. Unfortunately, I leave him on like 6 HP there, but we still pick him up. And now I reload. Two guys left, 1v2. Here I go up into the high ground and I can spot and I can also reset the base. The Agpans is not looking at me, so I just put a nice shot into the T57. Just need to fully aim it, snipe his turret. And as the Jagdpanzer is 1600 HP almost, and I need four shells to kill him, I take a reload and I start running immediately. So now I'm just running away and trying to buy time for my reload. And here I'm just trying to bait up and trying to make him fire. Keep baiting him and I keep baiting him and he fires HE, which is really fortunate for me because now I have the time and the HP to put my remaining four shells into his lower plate and hopefully take him out. So I put the first one into his lower plate and I'm just still aiming, I'm just sitting still and just waiting for my gun to settle. Because he did take out my uh, he did take out my gun with that shell that he fired into my turret. So I try and put the final shell into his lower plate, but his angle is really good here. And with my broken gun I can't put an accurate shell into his lower plate. But here I'm just using the ridge line to buy time and as I'm lower down, he overextends and I can put that final shot into his lower plate and the game is won. So for this replay I managed to pick up a lot of medals including a Radley Walters, a Top Gun, a Collar Banos, a Defender, High Calibre and a Steel Wall. I hope you learned how to deal with these tense games where you're alone against multiple opponents and make sure you tune in to watch the Grand Finals on May the 27th and 28th.